guys made it to Guam. It is about 1 p.m. Flight time was about, actually turned out to be 15 hours and it wasn't so bad because I knocked out for maybe like the first like six hours and then I was up for the rest. So, um, but I was rested and uh, which was good. So I wasn't, you know, restless or anything on the flight. So it ended up being um, sort of like a quick flight since I slept for almost half of it. Um, but here in Guam, and it's a rainy day, we wouldn't be Guam if it's not raining. It's always raining and sunny and raining and sunny. So um, back at the um, other hotel that we normally stay at, um, if you've seen my last Guam vlog, we were at um, a different hotel. But this is the one that we normally stay at. Um, I don't need to do a room tour because I did a room tour um, a couple times for this room. But um, we're on the other side of the bay, so I can show you the view. It's always a nice view when you come here. See, it's a little, it's rainy overcast right now. So now I am starving, so I'm gonna just go downstairs and get some food. And our rest here is a short rest. It's like 13 hours. And um, I think our van time, I have to double check, um, I think our van time is like at 1 a.m. Um, so tomorrow we're going to ferry the flight down to Australia and then we're going to work the flight back here to Guam. But yeah, so I'm just going to get some food downstairs and then probably just lay low for the rest of the day until it's time to go to work tonight. Um, but look what happened to Bertha. Bertha got like maimed or something. I mean, can you see like this bulge right here? And she's all like wobbly. I think this wheel got pushed in. She must have got dropped or squished. But like when I left Baltimore, she was a rectangle. Now she's like an octagon. And she kind of like teeter totters when I roll it. So I'm going to have to take pictures and then send it into in flight department and then get compensated for a new one. But poor Bertha. I just came back from having lunch with a few of my crewmates and so just came back to the room took a shower so I'm feeling refreshed but I am tired and we have a short rest here our show time is at 1 15 a.m. tomorrow morning so I need to head to bed after this hopefully I will get some sleep but if not it's a ferry flight tomorrow down to Australia so I can sleep on the plane um, so I'm just going to iron my uniform get that all ready and then hit the uh, hit the bed. So I will see you guys in the morning. Aloha So this is how my morning is starting Good morning guys, it is 12 midnight Let me try and get some coffee in me and wake up from the dead Okay, that is much better. So it is now about what time is it now? It is about 12.50 a.m. So I'm going to head downstairs. So our van time is at 1.15 a.m. Our departure is at 2.45 a.m. We're going to get into Australia at about, um, I think it was about 8 a.m. or 9. And then um, we're on the ground for like four hours. I don't know why, but we're on the ground for like four hours. And then we're going to end up back here in Guam um, about 6 p.m. So we're on the 777. We have a crew of 10 and we are expecting about 309 passengers so that's a lot that's a lot i haven't worked with that many passengers in so long um so let's get this day started and i will see you guys whenever i see you guys So we made it here to Australia. Flight time was about five hours. I think I slept for maybe two and a half hours of that and I was up for the rest. 
Um, it's currently about 10 a.m. We landed here at about 8, so we've been on the ground for two hours now. And I think we're going to be here for another two hours because um, the departure is scheduled for 12 p.m. So just hanging out here until it's time to go. Uh, catering hasn't arrived yet, so just waiting for catering to get here. I'm just hanging out in my um, section here. There's my jump seat. I'm going to be working the R3 position, so at the three doors. And I'm going to do beverage cart today. All right, people, made it back to Guam. It is currently, what time is it? It is currently 7 p.m. We landed at 5.45 p.m. Um, it was a five hour flight from Australia. We ended up having 290 passengers, which is still a lot. Um, but the flight was really good. It was really quick. We just did one uh, lunch, hot lunch service, and that was it. So now I'm going to do the usual, is get out of this clothes, go and get food, and then um, take a shower and then relax afterwards. So tomorrow is go home day. Um, it's going to be a long day of commercialing back to Las Vegas. I will tell you the details when I get all settled and freshened up because I am so hungry and I feel all yucky and I want to just shower and stuff. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, bye. All right, people, so I'm all showered. Um, I was too lazy to go and get food or order food. So I'm actually not that hungry. I was hungry earlier, but I started like repacking my bag and stuff. So um, I have some snacks and stuff to hold me over till breakfast um, so I can go down tomorrow morning for breakfast. Um, yeah, so I was just repacking my bag because I have to repack it for tomorrow since it's going to be a long day of commercialing. So tomorrow, so tomorrow's go home day. Um, this was a nine day trip, started off as a six day trip. And the funny thing about this trip was it was all deadheads and ferry flights and one working flight, which was today. So in this whole nine days, I worked just one working flight and the rest was all ferries and deadheads. But no complaints there. It was still a fun trip because I had a fun crew and uh, of course got to go to Guam. Even though I didn't get to do anything in Guam this time, that's okay because, you know, in August I spent the whole month here almost practically. So um, tomorrow's long day of commercialing. So van time is going to be 10, 10 a.m. We are commercialing first on United Airlines. We are departing at 12, 10 p.m. Guam to Narita. Narita is Tokyo, Japan. Um, when we get to Narita uh, International Airport, we are going to connect to Air Canada. And then we are flying uh, Narita to Vancouver. And then connecting to Air Canada again, Vancouver to Las Vegas. So yeah, I don't know why they put us that route, but crew scheduling is a mystery. It's always a mystery with crew scheduling. Normally it goes by whatever the whatever is cheapest. So I guess that route was cheaper. Normally when we're in Guam, we do Guam, Honolulu, Honolulu to Vegas when we commercial, but yeah, so tomorrow, um, the United Airlines flight to Narita is about four hours. I'm not looking forward to that flight because they use the 737 aircraft, which is a small aircraft, for four hours. And then um, Air Canada's Narita to Vancouver, it's on the Dreamliner 787-900. So I'm excited for that because it's a very nice airplane and it's state of the art. It's the, one of the newest aircraft built. Although I never rode in theirs one yet. So this is the first time I'm riding Air Canada 787-900. So um, I'll see how comfortable their seats are. That's going to be like an 8 hours and 30 minute flight. Um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. And then from Vancouver to Vegas is Air Canada again. It's going to be like a 3 hour flight and that's an Airbus A321. So not too bad. But um, yeah, so like again, today's flight was really cool. Um, it was fast ferry flight down to Australia and then working the flight back five hours and then uh, 290 passengers. 
I haven't worked on the 777 in a hot minute, so I forgot like just how narrow um, our aisles are. So like my hips, walking down those aisles is always a challenge because like my hips is hitting every elbow and every head that's sticking out in the aisle. <laughs> So right now I'm just going to finish up packing um, and then uh, probably eat a snack and then head to bed so I can wake up early in the morning for um, breakfast. So I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys. It is about 6.30 a.m. and just got downstairs to get some breakfast and Dad was coming down too so I'm just waiting for him. I got some karage chicken, over easy eggs, french toast, sausage, and bacon. And they have like this four season juice with like mango, I forget what it was, four juices in there. Mango, orange, guava, and pineapple I think is in there. Alright guys, I'm all packed up and ready to go. It is time to get this long day started, this long journey home. But it's always nice to see guava. Hey. Leg one, Guam to Narita. All right, we made it to Tokyo. We are currently at the Narita International Airport. Here's my crew. Daryl with his fan. Hey, hey, everybody. And L. L's in the bathroom, but it was. Ended up being a 3 hour 30 minute flight, but it seemed longer than that. But we are here and this air, this terminal is so empty. I know this is just a small part of the terminal, but this part is empty. I don't know if there's any shops or anything. But we got about 2 hours of ground time and then 8 hours and 30 minutes to Vancouver. So flight attendant must have is, we all got our little fans, see? Like, let me stop it so you can see. It's also a flashlight and a battery charger. So I got my little guy. Ken got his one over there. With his. Joe has his neck one. See, Joe has both. He has. Oh. <laughs> He has up, he has up and down. <laughs> he has to do full body. <laughs> Next fan. And he got his fan. Oh, no, this is a need. Where's your fan? Uh, death mom. Oh, must have travel flans. Especially if you're going through menopause like all of us. <laughs> L, where's your fan? I'm vlogging all our fans. Do you have a fan? Do you have a fan? No. Yeah. No, I did. L does not have a fan. You know why? Because she's young. She's not going through menopause. Like us. All right, made it to Vancouver. Luckily, flight time was only like seven hours, 30 minutes, but it was a pretty comfortable flight. I mean, I love drive, uh, driving. I love riding the Dreamliner because it's so quiet and modern. Um, seats are, again, it's a little thin, so after sitting there for, you know, hours and hours, 
gets a little bit uncomfortable, but I slept for maybe half of the flight. Um, I got two meal services and um, I just stopped at Starbucks because I got um, my Vancouver mug. Um, I came here before, but um, that was years ago, so I have the old Vancouver mug. And they had both, they had Vancouver and Canada. But I just got the Vancouver one and then I can come back to do the Canada one. Um, everybody kind of split up and is like looking at gift shops and getting food. Uh, so we're just going to meet at the gate right now. I got pumpkin spice Timbits, which is like donut holes. And I just got a vanilla iced coffee with almond milk. You like my little holder? It comes in handy. And here's my Starbucks mug. Vancouver. I am home in my own house. It is about 6 p.m. right now. We landed in Las Vegas at 2 p.m. Um, I didn't vlog anything uh, when we got in because I was just so tired. I just wanted to get home because I still had to drive home and I just wanted to shower and you know do the usual my usual ritual when I get home. Um, washing clothes right now. Um, yeah it's today was like a 20 hour duty day. I think as long as as far as i can remember this has been like the longest go home day um three commercial flights but um this whole trip it's a six day trip to a nine day trip um all in all it's been fun my trips are always fun especially um if you have a good crew and a fun crew and everything so yeah so it's been fun this whole nine days and this whole nine days this whole work trip consisted of four commercial flights three ferry flights and one working flight one working flight that's all i did they just flew us down to guam to just work one working flight everything else was ferries and deadheads but I'm, but i'm not complaining because it was a fun trip so um now i'm home so tomorrow i'm off and then the next day um we're gonna go on our cali trip so we're gonna go to disneyland and i'll vlog that one so that one's going to be a separate vlog um i think we're going to do cali for maybe four days i can't remember four days and then um i come back from cali and then i'm back on reserve for the rest of the month so i'm going to end this vlog here and then i will see you guys on my cali vlog so see you guys on the next one aloha